concerned, even surprised. That was HPD's response today to the large number of illegal aerials over Oahu on New Year's Eve. And we were finally able to speak to police about all the illegal fireworks after a woman was killed while setting off an aerial. She's identified as 38-year-old Leona Spencer, and her partner was critically injured. The accident happened just after midnight on New Year's Day in Campbell Industrial Park. Today, we asked police about the investigation into Spencer's death and also learned new details about a large bust of illegal fireworks. Sarah Madison follows up. Sarah? Howard and Marissa, HPD tells me last month they received information that a fireworks shipment was coming in from Washington State. Police seized about 6,000 pounds of illegal fireworks and arrested seven men in connection to the case. All of them have been released pending investigation. We did get uh, intelligence from a mainland state that we did have a shipment, uh, sh shipment of fireworks coming into Hawaii. Um, that shipment was allowed to come here. Uh, uh, mail picked it up. He was actually, the uh, investigation started from there. Across Oahu, HPD says 92 citations were given for various fireworks violations. 9,700 pounds of aerial fireworks were recovered, including more than 200 other fireworks related products. Are you surprised or concerned how many illegal aerial fireworks were set off this New Year's weekend? Uh, actually, both. Surprise and concern. I mean, there seemed to be quite a uh, quite a bit, an abundance of uh, aerial fireworks, generally, which would be illegal. Officials say it's difficult to catch someone in the act of lighting illegal fireworks or finding a witness to come forward. Do you think enforcement or something needs to change, seeing that it's really difficult to catch someone in the act when it comes to fireworks? Um, that would have to be discussed with prosecutors. I mean, naturally, you need probable cause and everything to bring a case forward. So that's something that prosecutors and legislature or our lawmakers would have to weigh in uh, also on with us. Assistant Chief Bloomkey says the department was stretched thin on certain nights. Many officers were on other assignments, such as the security detail for the president's annual visit. But this year, the department did focus more on its knock-and-talk program. When officers received a tip about fireworks going off at a certain place, they would let the resident know that there are people willing to call 911. The knock-and-talks are basically almost like a last resort. Basically, you get a complaint, you go there. Um, if you uh, don't see anything or you can't make a uh, citation or arrest, it's a knock-and-talk. This year, they did more than 100 knock and talks at various neighborhoods. Last year, officers only did half that amount. As for the investigation into Spencer's death, I asked HPD if it would investigate where the illegal fireworks came from. He told me detectives would be asking those questions. Sarah Madison, KHON 2 News.